You guys are probably thinking like, oh, look at those two lesbians up there roasting each other. <laughs> but joke's on you, because we love dick. Uh, Femi looks like if my shadow couldn't swim. <laughs> looks like... Mm -hmm. This is so hard. This feels like, like a world peace level event, you know? I was like, the world needs to see this. It was so fucking adorable. I love how mean you guys are. I just, it was like heart, I just love this version, this Kenyan version of the blind side. I... First battle of the evening, give it up for the amazing Heather and Aaron! Yeah. Hell yeah, okay. Have you guys decided who's going first? I can go first. Okay. Aaron's going first. They're going to go back and forth, and then we're going to decide to win it by the panel. Are you guys ready? <laughs> That's not good enough. Are you guys ready for a fucking roast battle right now? <laughs> roast on three! Roast on three! One, two, three! Roast! <laughs> Heather looks like a Fortnite skin of a lesbian. <laughs> Ah, oh, buddy, look at us. We're doing it. You guys are probably thinking, like, oh, look at those two lesbians up there roasting each other. But joke's on you, because we love dick. That was told to you in confidence. Heather was banned from Tinder. That says a lot when even Tinder is like, who invited you? That was told to you in confidence. <laughs> uh, Aaron's uh, what's referred to as a miracle baby. Um, because no matter how many times they tried, his parents just couldn't get the abortion to take. That was really hurtful. <laughs> I didn't know it was going to be hurtful. My bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Heather's uncle died from alcoholism. Ha ha. <laughs> but he actually didn't start drinking until after he molested her. <laughs> it was, it was just so traumatizing for him. That was good. Sorry, yeah. That was no, that was good. That was, that was good. That was yeah. Cool. Um, Aaron's uh, very much a mama's boy. Um, he loves his mother. He would do anything for her. In fact, he changed his nose ring to a stud because it kept getting caught in her pubes. <laughs> The stud would actually be more likely to get caught in her pubes. It just doesn't. He would know. We tried both. <laughs> <laughs> Heather played the French horn in high school. Or at least that's what they used to call it back then. <laughs> Low jobs. That's what that's what oh, OK. That's what, all right. That's what that means. No, that's good. That's good. Yeah. I got I a music one, too. Um, Aaron, huge hip hop fan. Um, so obviously, whenever he found out about P. Diddy drugging and having sex with men, he was devastated that he didn't upgrade that ticket to a meet and greet on the last tour. <laughs> missed opportunity. Yeah. It's called missed opportunity. You just got a fucking T-shirt. Are you kidding me? Very good. Uh, Heather looks like she runs a podcast about cat sexuality. <laughs> Meow, baby. It's called the Joe Rogan Experience. <laughs> um, Aaron's never actually been in love, uh, but not for lack of trying. It's just uh, his idea of Netflix and chill is putting on Brokeback Mountain and asking his date to record him while he does squats in front of the TV. <laughs> Heather. 
I said you could change the movie if you wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> That's why it didn't work out. <laughs> it's funny to check my form. Uh, <laughs> shut up, shut up. <laughs> Almost shushing. That's rude. Yeah, Almost that's shushing. Rude. Yeah, I, I told myself I wouldn't. Um, Heather thought about adopting a small Chinese boy, but decided instead to adopt his haircut. That's right. Nice, thick hair, baby. Don't be jealous, five head. Come on now. Look, I, I know this is a roast, okay? But everybody's very attracted to, to Aaron. They're very drawn to him. So, right, it's a roast, but like intelligent, articulate. Handsome, funny, disarming. These are all words used to describe Ted Bundy. <laughs> so you guys need to be careful out there. He clearly lifts the dead bodies that he's done with to get them in Lake Michigan, okay? <laughs> Old blonde Wayne Gacy. Last joke? Oh, okay. Heather was voted class clown because people couldn't believe she fit into her car. It was a small car. <laughs> An SUV. It's a small SUV. All right, uh, you know, Aaron got all buff, but what I love about him is that he didn't let it change him. I mean, like, I guess the only thing that's different is instead of filling himself full of creamy Twinkies on the couch, he lets a Twink fill him full of cream behind the gym. <laughs> oh, Brad spits over here. <laughs> All right, give it up for them, everybody. Holy <laughs> shit. Yes. Oh. That was awesome. Two beautiful bleached assholes up here. delivering amazing comedy for you. That was a great way to start it off. I want to start it off first with the judging with Catherine. What did you think about what happened? Oh, it was so good. It was such a good battle. I, you guys are so strong, both of you. I love that you dress alike, too. <laughs> Heather and Aaron. Heather, um, Aaron, it looks like, like you look like Heather at the end of a like Queer Eye for the Straight Guy episode. <laughs> this is a before and after. Um, uh, you guys are so strong. Um, Heather, I love the stud joke was like my favorite of yours. It was so funny. I love comparing him to Ted Bundy. I would probably let him kill me. He's so hot. Uh, um, but I think I'm gonna give it to Aaron. The the fucking molest joke was just a next level. That was so fucking good. Okay, Aaron gets a vote. Hell yeah. Weird w w reason to vote for somebody, but um, <laughs> had a stroke there. I would. I, 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 die, I know. I want him to fuck me and kill me too, but. <laughs> We're both there. I th he touched my ass, I'm hard. So, Do you think if he touched your ass, it would already be bleached? What? <laughs> <laughs> you owe me this. But, um, okay. Tyler, what did you think? Uh, such a great start. So two people, so such a strong battle from two people I assume are terrible at stand-up. So that was awesome. <laughs> really cool start. Uh, if you guys are here, who is molesting little girls at the Warp Tour? I mean, come on, <laughs> come on. Uh, no, super strong. I, I, it was so close. You guys were neck and neck, which I love. I really don't want to give it to Aaron because I hate that his face looks like that. But. Uh, <laughs> Between between the molesting and the uh, clown car, Aaron wins it. That was great. Okay, Aaron with two. Yeah, give it up for him, Aaron with two. Yes, he will commit a murder later, but for right now he has two. Oscar. All right, uh, I'm not letting him murder me, by the way. Uh, yeah, um, I think he started off pretty pretty weak. Um, it was like that meme, you know, they almost had us in that first half, right? Uh, he came back strong, though. I feel like it was pretty even, but I feel like he had bigger punches. And um, I'm going to give it to Aaron. Okay, Aaron wins. Aaron wins the battle. Give it up for him. <laughs> also, I'd like to make a formal and public apology to Oscar for putting him on the whitest panel possible. 
vicious, viciously Caucasian. I'm so sorry, dude. <laughs> we were together. He was like, mm. I'm like, oh, whoops. Um, quite. Anyway, yes. You didn't really. Okay, sorry. All right, my bad. All right, I did. Uh, all right. Uh, thank you, Kevin. Let's get a vote before you start burning crosses in people's front yards. Hey, he looks like that though. I but. don't. Call ahead. Right. <laughs> uh, no, I really loved it. Give it up for Heather. Heather's a very new comic. That was great. Oh my god. Yeah, there we go. You guys look like you both get, came off of your shift at the same restaurant. <laughs> You guys are just both very angry at rich women from Lincoln Park right now. That's what you, uh, I really loved it. But that when when he pulled out that clown car joke, I I had it with Heather. But you pulled out the clown car joke, and I was just like, I can't come back from that. You know what I mean? This poor woman climbing out of her car in a high school parking lot. That's not fair. Uh, I went with Aaron. I was very close. So give it up for Heather. It was great. yes, great battle, great battle. Final thoughts from Emma, though. What did you think? All right. Um as badly as I, you, you know, the clown joke and the molest joke were really good, man. They were really funny, bro. I, yeah, I gotta give it to Aaron. Okay. Lots of room to think. Gotta give it to Aaron. <laughs> give it up for him. Give it up for both of them. Thank you for starting off the show. All right. Hell yeah. Go ahead and watch whatever anime you're gonna watch after this. That's gonna be great. You guys ready for your next fucking battle? That's where to start. Let's do it. Let's keep it moving. These two are regulars here. I love them very much. Give it up for the amazing Adam Quaslow and David Donick. <laughs> yep. Have you decided who's going first? Okay. Adam is going first. It's going to be seven jokes each. Everybody roast on three. One, two, three. Roast. David has resting. Dude, you cool if I hit on your sister face? <laughs> Man, Adam's so disgusting, he puts the you in Jew. <laughs> that sounds weird when somebody with your haircut says it. Uh... <laughs> My haircut. Adam's hair is so curly, scientists use that bitch as a rat maze. <laughs> I, look, we normally, normally on this show, it is just jokes, and we don't mean it, but I hate your haircut. <laughs> you look like Mackle just enough. Like... How, how dare you step on the stage looking like vanilla ice ice latte? <laughs> Adam is so fat. <laughs> Adam is so fat. Adam is built like a bowling ball with a face that got hit by a wrecking ball, but he's still never seen his own balls. <laughs> It's okay, they write to me. Uh, <laughs> David's brother works at a Holocaust museum because it is inspiring to go to work every day full of pictures of people who look like you in power. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Listen, Ad Adam's not an athlete, obviously. He's never won anything in his life, but he always takes the cake. <laughs> not if there's too much frosting. It's, uh, it ruins the balance. Uh, <laughs> David is a high school English teacher, uh, and this year his final for his students was to write a 500-word essay on what it will feel like when he finally loses his virginity. <laughs> Dude, shut the fuck up. You are walking propaganda for Ozembic right now. <laughs> I mean, come on. Adam's so fat, when Moses parted the Red Sea, he had to walk through it sideways. <laughs> And my ankles stayed dry, thank you. Uh, like I said, David is a high school teacher. I think teachers deserve to be paid more, especially because he still gets beaten up for his lunch money. Yeah. This is crazy. Adam breathes worse than his gassed ancestors, dude. Do you hear how he sounds on this mic? My ancestors... And this is true, we're from Michigan. Uh, <laughs> That's true. Uh, the forest fires are crazy. I <laughs> David's mom uh, is getting a little older, so he had her move back in with him. Uh, he does not charge her rent, but she does still have to do household chores like tucking him in at night. 
Dude, speaking of my mom, this is absolutely true. My mom got super drunk on tequila last night and yes! started texting me roasts about Adam. This is this is so true. She said, it's no wonder uh, grocery store prices are so high. We have Adam. <laughs> Davey, I don't know if you've ever heard, it's called supply and demand. He demands to be filled. <laughs> Your mom demands to be filled. Whoa. That's crazy. one? All right. <laughs> David's grandfather was gay. Uh, today is the anniversary of the day Allied troops invaded Normandy. Yeah. It is also the anniversary of the day David's grandfather invaded Norman. Yeah. <laughs> Damn right, brother. Uh, <laughs> With his D. <laughs> God damn, Adam's so loud when he snores, he causes earthquakes in Haiti right now. <laughs> like, I'm not one for Jewish conspiracy theories, but Adam's breath is so hot, I'm pretty sure it can melt steel beams. Slay, all right. Uh... Give it up for them, everybody. Keep it going. Give it up for them. Wow. Nice. Very good. Very, very good. Adam, when you were like, my ancestors were from Michigan, I was like, huh? <laughs> oh. <laughs> that was great. I thought it was a very fun battle. I want to start off with Tyler. What did you think of the battle up here? Oh, the fun we're having tonight, gang. Wow. Uh, <laughs> really, toe-to-toe, -to -toe, another great battle. I, mean, I think, overall, it's just incredible both these guys are here. I mean, Adam, how far along are you, man? That is awesome to be here. <laughs> In that state. You know, Tyler, if I ate you, I'd lose weight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I am mostly helium and fentanyl. Okay. Uh, and David, you guys don't know the fun fact about David. He's actually currently on hunger strike at the women's prison. Isn't that incredible? <laughs> that is awesome. Uh, you both did really well. I, uh, Adam, uh, Adam wins it for me. He had a couple uh, jokes that I really liked. So give it up for Adam. Adam gets a vote. <laughs> yes. Oscar. All right, man. Uh, you guys look like you just got off the same shift as the other first two roasters, man. Everyone's fucking wearing black, man. Um, I think joke for joke, you guys were pretty even. Um, but with the comebacks, I think Adam won. Uh, I'm going to give it to Adam and David. Uh, give your mama my number, right? All right, man. Hell yeah. Oh, we going to get you a new daddy today. <laughs> I've been looking. I was... I would love for Oscar to fuck David's mom after this. That would be so funny. All right, <laughs> Kevin, what did you think? Uh, David, you're a teacher, but how come you had to have your mom do some of your homework for you? <laughs> <laughs> and then Adam said he was going to fuck your mom, and it was the first time I ever believed Adam was going to have sex with anyone. <laughs> Uh, and, and then he and then he told us your your grandfather was a gay Nazi. No, 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 just gay. <laughs> I said his brother was a Nazi. Oh, oh, oh! But I do look like both of them, so oh, I guess. Hey, hey, that's Kevin. Same. Yeah. Wake up. <laughs> Calm down there, Wheezy. All right. Also, you're, Kevin, you're not happy you're birthday. With both your feet at that, that fucking rate. It's the first time I've seen you not drink Mountain Dew in public. Calm down. They didn't have any Mountain Dew you know, at the walk race. You win, buddy, okay? Are you happy there, XL? You win. <laughs> okay, I go with Adam. Okay, Adam gets a vote. I think we all felt that was a little mean-spirited. <laughs> I just want to address the vibe that when, he, when Kevin started making fun of him, like, audible, aw. Like, like there was an audible, aw. It was very adorable, though. Emma, what did you think? Yeah, I'm, I'm with Kevin. We're like, I, I really like both of you, but when you pulled out that my mom wrote some jokes for you, I was like, I don't know, man. It's a little... And then he burned you back. It's, it's Adam for me. It's Adam. Okay, Adam wins it. Give it up for Adam. I do want final thoughts from Catherine, though. Um, I just want to say it, it was really fun. It, you guys were both great. It was like an epic battle. It was royal. Uh, we have an edgelord and a landlord up here. Um... <laughs> I would, I would just, it was so fun. It was, you guys are both great writers. I would have to give it to Adam just because you had such funny comebacks. The mom thing was so believable. I do really think that you might have hooked up with his, his mom because you clearly love eating pussy. <laughs> That's it, bye. Okay, give it up for these two. Love them very much. Wow.
We're uniting people here tonight. All right. Okay, very good. We're healing wounds over there. I, w- I would love it if, if Kevin just fucking got so mad at Quas. He's like, you're fucking fat, dude. <laughs> Me and never going to love you. They're just fighting in the green room. All right. Next up, something different. We got uh, two new battlers coming up. It's going to be a rookie battle. It's their first time on the show. You guys, I want, So I want your guys to give them some fucking love. <laughs> For the first time on the show, the amazing Owen Damon and Femi Ekudayo. That that this is that was a lot. <laughs> that was that's like a, I think I've had a fever dream like this before. Okay, have you guys decided who's going first? Yeah, me. Okay, Femi is going first. It's gonna be five jokes each. Everybody, one, two, three. Yes! Guys, give it up for Fifty Shades of Gay. <laughs> I want to start by saying, uh, I'm only here to get revenge on Femi for scamming my grandma. (laughs) (laughs) I use her pension to buy a house. (laughs) Owen wants to be from France, cause their age of consent is 12. Femi's a 27-year-old virgin. Uh, But due to his heritage, he still got AIDS. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, I... I got it from Owen. <laughs> Owen has wet dreams about Krispy Kreme. <laughs> uh, Femi looks like if my shadow couldn't swim. <laughs> Owen is the emoji for rape. Femi was actually in a frat in college. Uh, he was the only pledge hazed with clean drinking water. <laughs> Last joke. Yeah. Owen's pawn name is Jim Crow. <laughs> Femi actually hates Pride Month. It, uh, not... it, it reminds him of the pride of lions that ravens his <laughs> 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 Give it up for these two motherfuckers, man. There was something so beautiful and pure about that racism. 
<laughs> that can only be captured in a roast fest. <laughs> That was uh, that was so. You guys, this is your second time ever doing it. This is your first time ever doing roast battle. You were, uh, give it up for that. Yeah. The two that came before you have done it a million times. I'd feel so shitty if I was any of them right now. They've done it so. That was so great. Great job, uh, Oscar. What did you think about this? All right, man. Uh, I want to give it up to them, man. That was uh, it was it was, uh, it was an awesome battle. Uh, this, this has to be the most even matchup of the night so far. Uh, Fifty Shades of Gay, I will never forget that joke, right? But, um, and it was really close, but I might have to give it to Owen for the ace. Okay, <laughs> Owen gets one. Unite, okay. <laughs> Me? Kevin. Oh, uh, wow, that was, Jesus. Man, there was so back and forth. I thought I thought you had Femi early. I thought you had Femi. You had like two, but then he goes and says these things in a way like, "I'm going to tell you something mean right now," <laughs> and then he does it. <laughs> he's like the guy like if you're fighting and he pushes you off the mountain. He's like, "You are going to fall now." <laughs> Uh, I thought Femi had you with the Jim Crow line. I thought that was such a great joke. Oh, and that was absolutely fantastic. I'm going to go with Femi, though. Okay, one for Femi. One Owen. One Femi. Emma. No, this is so hard. This feels like, like a world peace level event, you know? <laughs> I was like, the world needs to see this. That was like racism equality from both sides. It was so good, man. It's, it's what the people need right now. I, I don't know, man. Honestly, what do you think? <laughs> what do you think? Because the whole time you did not want to like Owen, but then he got you. He got you. He did not want to like Owen at all. He won her over. I'm, I'm so torn. I'm kind of, I want, I want a crowd input right now. What do you think? Femme? All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it to Femme because I'm, I'm torn. Right. I'm torn. I like a vote. Crowd vote, In Femme. In, in a questionable move, Femi gets one vote from the audience. <laughs> <laughs> Gather. Oh my, it was so good. You guys, it was like, it, you guys were so cute the whole time. It was so fucking adorable. I love how mean you guys are. I just, it was like heart, I just love this version, this Kenyan version of the blind side. <laughs> I, <laughs> the famine side, it was so good. Um, I just, <laughs> it was so fun. I don't know. I don't. You guys were so. It was so fucking even. It really was. Um, I think though, dude. Um, I think I'm gonna have to give it to Femi just because, just because you're so fucking sweet and just so. Ah, it's just so cute and mean at the same time. And I'm saying that like in a Sandra Bullock way. Like I just. I want. <laughs> Okay. Femi wins the battle due to... Ah! <laughs> Give it up for him. Good job. He wins. What do you know? Catherine picked the black guy. What do you know? What do you fucking know? Holy shit. That's on camera, right? <laughs> I hope your grandparents are dead. Holy shit. Uh, <laughs> you heard where she's from. Anyway, uh... I mean, it's great. Femi won this, and he's currently halfway through winning a marathon right now. That's fucking incredible, guys. That's huge. Let him hear it. Holy shit. Toe-to-toe, uh, -to -toe, so fucking great. Uh, I, I almost want to give it to Femi because he kept up that silly accent the whole time. I think that's a really good, really fun impression. You fucking got his ass with the rape emoji. That was great. But I think, uh, I think Owen uh, carried it throughout, so I'll give it to Owen. Okay, contestant. Femi wins, but Owen fucking had a great set, too. Give it up for these two. Amazing. Wow. Oh, the energy's so good right now. I just want to fucking keep it going. You guys want another rookie battle? People just trying it out? Give it up for the amazing Matthew Doyle Perez and Dana Kay! All right, which one are you going first? I'm going first. Dana's going first. There's going to be five jokes each. Everybody, you with us? Woo! One, two, three! Woo! I finished a book recently, The Tragedy of Heterosexuality. 
the Matthew Doyle Perez story. <laughs> Zanies Chicago, give it up for all the people in here. Hell yeah. Woo! Give it up for these guys. Pandering. You guys don't know this. There's a celebrity here. McLovin from Superbad. Yes. <laughs> they transition now, you know, make lesbian. He's just mad because I actually get to make love occasionally. For yeah. reasons. With lesbians, yeah. Yeah, you wish. Yeah. You wish. Yeah. Uh, um, Matthew is Mexican, but he is white trash passing. <laughs> All right, Dana is uh, Jewish, and she identifies as queer. Uh, unless you ask her ex-wife, uh, then she identifies as dry, boring, and gefilte fish. <laughs> Matthew is a disappointment to both his parents. Two. His Yeah, he's got two of them. Two. <laughs> his mom is Irish, his dad's Mexican, and they raised a sober son with a shitty work ethic. See. <laughs> so Dana's mom is also a lesbian. True. <laughs> Biology, right? Um, <laughs> So uh, that's kind of interesting. It's like the menorah like falls pretty far from the burning bush, I guess. You, know, just... you should really stop texting her, Matthew. She does not want you. Uh, I'll, I'll light that menorah one day. <laughs> Matthew's got a ratatouille situation going on, um, except it's a bunch of crabs living in his beard who write all his jokes. <laughs> It's hard to find good writers nowadays, man. I can, I really I can see you're all looking for them, but they're not in this beard. They're in his bottom oh. beard. <laughs> Carpet matches the tree. There is a bottom beard, yeah. There's a bottom beard. <laughs> That's where the beards hang out. <laughs> all right, so uh, Dana is a boy mom. Sorry, I said that wrong. Uh, Dana is a mom that looks like a boy. Uh, now, here's the thing. People say that Dana has resting bitch face. She doesn't. Uh, she has, bitch, you need more rest on the Sabbath face. <laughs> Matthew's sex life is a lot like his IBS. It's infrequent, it comes quickly, and it requires antibiotics. Yeah. Nice joke. I don't know what IBS is. Cool. <laughs> so uh, Dana is a huge hip-hop fan. Huge hip-hop fan. I asked her who her favorite rapper was, and she goes, oh, the black guy. <laughs> Is it? One more. Yeah. One more. For you. One more for me? Oh, okay. Get an extra one. Um, let's see. So Matthew's longest sexual relationship is actually with a set of twins. Mano y mano. <laughs> he tried to fuck with Boca, but he couldn't make the distance work. Oh. Boca's far away. <laughs> All right, give it up for them, everybody. <laughs> wow. So... So, so that's usually how that segment goes. <laughs> that's usually the... It's a mean show. I'm supposed to be mean. Give it up for them. Their first time get up here. Good job. Good job. Good job. Yes. Delicious. Let's get first thoughts from Kevin Kellum, who looks... I don't need to ask the audience on this one. I'm going to say... I like Dana has all the energy of someone who's going to ruin a PTA meeting. Uh, <laughs> And, and the guy who just hangs out at the party lot and sells a kid's drugs, but it's just Flintstone vitamins. Uh, this is really hard, but I'm going to go with Dana. I'm going to go with Dana just by a little bit. Okay, Dana, one vote. Emma? Um, I, I got to be re I don't even really remember a single joke that was said. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know what happened to my, uh, you know. Um, but my gut's telling me to go with Dana, so that's what I'm going to do. I don't know. Okay. Okay, Emma's gut gives her one vote. She's got two. Catherine. Um, okay, I'm going. Um, I love it. It's fun to watch people's last time on stage. I feel I like... No, I loved it. I really commend... I love the sexual energy between you two. Um, I... <laughs> um, I uh, no, I, no, I think you should not do it. But I... I, I <laughs> no, again... No, I liked it. It was fun, but I'm going to give it to you. I liked how you were dressed, and then I like how Dana, um, 
I, I didn't get the Boca thing. It was too smart for me. Um, Thank you. You gotta dumb it down. But I'm gonna give it. Uh, but D Dana came with it. Dana came with it, and I I want you to be my mom. <laughs> okay, mommy Dana wins the roast. Give it up for mommy Dana. Yes. Hell yeah. Oh man, what a uh, what a close game. I mean, you both had setups and. I mean, no, honestly, you both had solid jokes. I just wish you'd performed them tonight. Uh, that would have been nice. Uh, no, you guys were cool. Um, Dana, I kept expecting you halfway through to be like, guys, it's pronounced unhoused, okay, about Matthew. Uh, Dana carried it throughout. Goes to Dana. Okay, Dana, one more vote. But I want to get final thoughts from Oscar. Dana. Give it up for them, everybody. First time getting up here. Give it up for them. It was great. Yes. That was, that is, <laughs> oh man, this show, man, I feel bad because sometimes people, you know, get on the show and then they're like, I'm not doing that ever again. <laughs> that sucked, but we're going to move forward. You ready for your next battle, huh? <laughs> These next two, they've done it a million times. I love them very much. They're close friends. I've been very, very excited to see this. Get your hands together right now. Start making noise right now. Yeah. Start making noise for the amazing Hannah Belmont and Harry Meredith. Who's going first? I am. Okay. Hannah's going first. It's going to be seven jokes each. Everybody, one, two, three. Ross. All right, you guys. Keep it going for Brock Turner if he played lacrosse. Uh, <laughs> no, it's, uh, it's cool. Harry and I are actually best friends, uh, but we're really different comedians. Like, Harry likes to joke about pedophilia, roast, race, and his dad dying, and I get booked. <laughs> Hannah mentioned that uh, we're her best friend. She's top 50 for me, so. Um, 50 people. Um. I could rattle them off. We don't have time, folks. I coach at least 50 kids. Anyway. Uh, You're friends with kids? I lo kids love me, all right? Don't say that. Oh. Pedophilia jokes. It's what I do. It's what I do. I should just keep doing them, honestly. All right. Hannah looks like the teacher that fucks her kids, but also the kid that fucks her teachers. Yeah, I fuck. All right. Uh, <laughs> Harry does not. Uh, Harry looks like uh, before he goes down on a woman, he has to check her pH balance to make sure it won't make his tummy hurt. That's fake news. That's fake news. That's fake. Before I go down on a woman, I make sure there's a pillow underneath her abdomen, all right? And a Tom's on his bedside table. <laughs> Whatever. They taste good, regardless. <laughs> Hannah has to... All right, whoever the lady is, stop. Uh, <laughs> you're pissing me off. All right. Is that what women say when you fuck them? <laughs> Which part? Both. No, they say, keep going, you've got a hammer. Uh, <laughs> it's just true. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> all right. It's not. I do fuck, though. I do fuck. All right. Um, all right. Let's focus, guys. <laughs> what are we doing? This is so retarded. All right. All right. All right. Shh. Oh. Hannah has to carry around an inhaler with her at all times, not because she has asthma, but because she's constantly out of breath from telling everybody she's bisexual. <laughs> H Hannah's the first person to ever come out of the closet and then have her parents be like, please go back in. It was so much quieter. I tapered off. All right, no, uh, speaking of fucking, Harry is single and also his dad is dead. Uh, he's very used to being ghosted. <laughs> you guys should have seen how hot the girl I ghosted last week was. I mean. She's dead now. <laughs> I would have killed her with my dick. Cause it's so nice. All right, well, fucking Hannah sounds, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> oh, this is dumb. Uh, Hannah's voice sounds like when you accidentally step on a dog toy. You look like the dog whose toy it is. <laughs> All right. Which Harry looks like he skips leg day to just work on neck day. <laughs> it's not supposed to blend in like that, you know? <laughs> 
What the fuck? Is that how you suck dick? What's happening right now? I treat boys right, let me say that. I treat Unlike this right. prude bitch. All right. Um, <laughs> oh, man. I regret everything I've said. Uh, Hannah's last name is Belmont, which is cool because there's a street in Chicago named Belmont. And much like uh, the street Belmont, she lets everybody walk all over her. And if she doesn't get plowed, she's a fucking nightmare to deal with. <laughs> Speaking of getting plowed, uh, Harry reminds me a lot of an erect penis. He's, he's you. bony, veiny, and women get upset when they see him on the red line. <laughs> Again, fake news, they want to fuck me so bad. It's, it's actually, I can't keep them off me. All right, look guys, if I wore as much makeup as Hannah, I would also look like a woman. You need, you need it to cover that razor rash. You don't even have facial hair, it's just there. All right, was that your rose? Yeah. Okay. Um, it worked, it worked. Harry looks like he apologizes to the drywall after he punches through it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. All right. Hannah's probably the only person that a golden retriever could walk by and think, at least I'm not that retarded. <laughs> All right. Last joke. Harry plays lacrosse. Uh, he also has a dog. He named the dog Duke after his favorite team because they em amplify his two true passions, sports and unconscious rapeable women. <laughs> Look, I, they made an ESPN 30 for 30. It's called Fantastic Lies. Go home, watch it. They're innocent. I'm just saying. That's just 100% true. All right. <laughs> what? I'm just defending myself, honestly. All right. <laughs> All right. This one's kind of a mouthful. I regret saying that because you could have made fun of me for second cock, but uh, <laughs> did. Hannah is a bisexual Jew with social anxiety that's never been with a woman, never had a bat mitzvah, and never stops talking. The only thing faker than her act is her eyelashes, nails, and friendship with every male comic over the age of 40. <laughs> that's, that's not true. Ask your mom. Uh. <laughs> My mom. Ooh, give it up for them, everybody. <laughs> Whoa. 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 That was awesome, dude. Give it up for them. That was fucking very funny. Holy shit. Nah, good job. That was good. That felt like a brother and sister trying to get their parents divorced. You're a slut. No, you're a bigger slut, but for small children. <laughs> I liked that battle. I want to get first thoughts from Emma. What the fuck happened up here? God, it's, it's so great to watch two children be mean to each other on stage. This is so fun, so fun. Do you have a hammer? I gotta know. It, not, he doesn't. Just, just for the, it, it, it influences the length my, uh, is The length is fine, the girth is admirable. I'll say that much. <laughs> All right. Oh. Yes, it is. Yeah, dude. Your you... neck is stiffier than your dick. Well, no shit. <laughs> That'd be fucking insane. Wait, did you guys actually fuck? You seem to be an expert on the thing. Yeah, we did. You're like, actually, that's not, that's actually not how his dick looks. That's actually not how his penis actually is, though. It looks like a xenomorph. <laughs> like the mole rat from Kim Possible. God. God, this is just if getting we're gonna worse. If we're going to go to detail. Right. worse. I'm just going <laughs> Um, I, I have to, to go with, I'm going to go with Hannah, I think. I'm going to go with Hannah. Okay, yeah. Hannah gets a vote. Give it up for Hannah. Yes. Yes. I, I loved it. I love this Disney Channel original porn. <laughs> um... <laughs> I just, I can't wait for you guys to fuck again. I can see the tension. I really want it to happen. And I know you're not into each other, but you want to fuck each other while you look into mirrors at yourselves. I love it. You're so fucking hot. You guys are so fucking hot. You know it. Um, Harry, you really... 
I'm sorry. Um, I okay. No, I like I liked your your ending joke really hit hard, but I do feel like Hannah carried it the rest of the time. The neck joke is so funny because it is huge and giant, and your head is so fucking small on top of your giant. I have a big head. What are you... No, you have a giant neck and it. Itty bitty tiny little head. I can't even realize you right now he has a small head. <laughs> it's so funny. No. Wait, Wait, what, dude? It's, it's a very large huge. head. It's a very large head. Small heads. Yeah, okay, two small heads. Um, but Hannah does want to sit on your neck. Uh, <laughs> okay, go ahead. Yes. I don't know who you voted for. Hannah wins. Okay, Hannah wins. Is that three? No, that's two for Hannah. It's two. We've just been roasting them longer than their actual. <laughs> <laughs> oh Time. man, I so many, uh, so much to say about this. Clarify for me real quick, which one is Hannah, which one's Harry? I, um, <laughs> no, come on, give it up for them. First all trans battle of the night. Come on, <laughs> two trans comedians, two for one on the surgery. That's very great. Uh, it was super close. Uh, we had a lot of close battles tonight. It was very close. Uh, goes to Harry for two reasons. Uh, one, uh, uh, he said retard twice, and that's a fun word, so we'll give it to him. Um, and two, the Belmont joke was really funny, so give it to Harry. Okay, Harry gets a vote. Give it up for him. Yes. Okay. Oscar. This is the whitest shit i ever seen in my life, man. I swear. I don't understand. Have the words they say. All right. Uh, the boy's wearing blue, the girl is wearing pink. <laughs> that makes sense. Hey, 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 wait your turn. You're getting the mic next. All right. Um, I think it was pretty tight, pretty even. Um, I'm going to have to give it to Harry for the ad libs. Give it to Harry. Yeah. Harry's ad libs leaves it tied. Tiebreaker, Kevin Kellum. Wow, this is. I, 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 don't, I don't know what's bigger than Harry's dick, but it's probably Belmont's opinion of herself uh, based on how she was going. Yeah, you're, you're trying to get casted in the Gen Z Mean Girls reboot. We know what you're going for, Regina George. Yeah, yeah, no cargo in those pants. Good for you. Um, uh, I liked it. You guys are going back and forth, neck and neck. It was very, very close, but that... That Belmont Avenue joke fucking got me. That's where that's where like it went over the edge. I'm going with Harry. I think I think Harry got you. Harry mind. wins the battle. Give it up for him. Both of these two get out of here. Great job. That was fucking awesome. Oh my goodness gracious. Did you what are you? What's, what a what a charismatically awkward individual. That. He was always like, I fuck kids, but also my dick's big. But, um, <laughs> card. Um, that was great. All right. First thing, I want you to give it up for the amazing servers that have been taking care of you tonight. <laughs> they worked their asses off. It's great. I'm going to let you know a few things, then we're going to get to our final battle of the evening, because I know it's getting late, and we want it to get extra mean at the end. Okay? We got merch over there. We got T-shirts. It supports the comics. That'd be great. And we have a Patreon, so if your friends missed this show and you wanted them to come, they can watch the whole thing unedited next, this Monday. This upcoming Monday is going to be up on our Patreon. We post every fucking thing there. All right. That's it. Are you guys ready for your headlining battle of the evening? Woo! You know the rules. I'm going to ask you one more time. Are you ready for your headlining battle of the evening? Woo! Battle. Battle. These two have done so many battles. I'm so excited for this. Have you decided who's going first? I'm going first. Tito is going first. Final battle of the evening. Seven jokes each. Everybody, right now. One, two, three. Ross! Hell yeah. I actually don't want to be here. Uh, <laughs> I'm actually here against my will. Uh, actually, because two weeks ago, I woke up in my bed with my hands and my feet chained to a wall, and there was Leo on a tricycle talking about, I want to play a game. Or whatever. <laughs> I was like, all right, shit. <laughs> Got no choice or whatever. <laughs> oh man, I'm so excited to be here roasting our collective ayahuasca vision. <laughs> I don't know. Fun fact about Tito: you can conjure him if you play a Santana riff outside a leather bracelet store. <laughs> you guys know that? <laughs> 
Speaking of, you look like Pocahontas thrift store over here. <laughs> you look like a lion fucked a witch and has a terrible wardrobe. <laughs> <laughs> You're the Tin Man, the Scarecrow, and the Lion, you heartless, brainless coward. Oh my God. You guys might recognize Tito from the face you picture when you hear Shaggy's It Wasn't Me. <laughs> uh, Leah doesn't mean to look like that, but the doctor says she suffers from resting Sphinx face. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm battling a legend of a hidden temple right now. <laughs> Tito's done comedy for six years, which I guess isn't long enough to learn that jokes aren't funnier when you yell them. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this land old lake looking ass bitch. <laughs> <laughs> if Leo color with if Leo color with all the colors of the wind, it'd still be gray. Uh, it's just nothing's there, you know. Peter's actually a landlord. Woo. Dude, how do you look like you? <laughs> how do you own property but also look like you crash in your friend's food truck? <laughs> <laughs> I need a place to stay, bitch. I don't know. <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, uh, Leah's a mom. She's got two kids. Uh, she flew him in herself. Uh, I don't, okay, all right, that was a nose joke. <laughs> Penelope Goose! All right. Uh. Peter doesn't have any kids, but he does have a lot of pictures of kids on his hard drive. <laughs> Ooh, um. Leah works from home. She identifies as a sack of we work. Uh, she's out here. Thank you, Hot Topic Che Guevara. <laughs> Thank you. You just bumbled a revolution. <laughs> Thank you, Angelina Jawline over here. <laughs> you look like something my people would have sacrificed by now. <laughs> you quits a quaddle, bitch? All right. <laughs> this is hard for me. Actually, Tito's a really good guy, you guys. Every six months, he donates his hair to cancer patients who can't grow pubes. <laughs> They're just kids. All right. All right. <laughs> uh, Leah's married and her husband's Mexican. I asked her, how did she know he was the one? She said, I found him kind and caring. I asked him, how did he know she was the one? He said, I found her eating a snake on top of a cactus. Uh, <laughs> he called it home, actually. <laughs> You look like the Zoltar machine if all the fortune started with bruh. You look like the long lost Kardashian named Clunky. Uh. <laughs> Tito's actually named after the vodka women drink to forget they fucked him. <laughs> This fucking Xeno Warrior Pinterest over here. <laughs> this bitch look biblical. <laughs> it look like if you don't fucking agree with her politics, she turns you into a pillar of salt. It's fucking, it's crazy. <laughs> Thank you, Captain Jack Spare Me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Yeah. That was awesome. Yes. Wow. That was awesome. I totally did not lose count during that at all. Perfect. That was a great way to end the show. I fucking thought that was a great battle. So much fucking fun. Oh, yeah. I want first thoughts from Catherine. What did you think? Uh, uh, dude, that was so fun. That was unreal. Back and back and back and forth. Who got the uh, heartless? Who, who had the comeback with the heartless? Was that Leah? I literally lost track because it was so good. That was unreal to come back with that. Like That was, a, that was like a written joke like that you came back that fast with that um i can't legally roast you two because i don't think either one of you are white so i i i, <laughs> I, I literally will pay more taxes if i um but um i'm absolutely 100 percent gonna have to give it to leah like you just one after the other after the other and then with the captain jack spirit at the very end nailed it you gotta go like, that's it hell yeah leah gets a vote give it up for her. hell yes how about, give it up for Chris Rico for hosting the show. Let Chris hear it. He really, this is all he has. This is all he has. So really let him hear it 
fucking nothing going on in his life. This is all he's got. So they do this show every couple weeks. That's the next time you can see him. He has nothing else going on in this guy. No, come on. He's a nice guy. Give it up for him. Uh, <laughs> but talk about a fucking headlining battle. You guys fucking killed it. This was awesome. So good. I'm so happy to see this battle. I'll say it. We're all thinking it. Tito, I'm glad they put you on that bus at the border and sent you up here, buddy. That's fucking awesome. Really glad. Love Leah, it was funnier throughout. Carried it. We'll give it to Leah. Okay, Leah with two votes from the very funny Tyler, who was mean to me for no reason. Okay, Oscar. Hey, I love you, Chris, bro. Thank you, thank you, Peter. It's a positive reinforcement. Okay, cool. You're getting yeah, close man. next, but that's, good. that's pretty good. Um, yeah. uh, all right, uh, it was a pretty close battle, pretty good battle. Uh, um, Tito, uh, I hate a boat against a Mexican, but I love to boat against a Puerto Rican, so I'm gonna give it to Leah, man. Okay, Leah. <laughs> yes. Kevin? That was fucking mean, dude. <laughs> Puerto Rican parades this weekend, and you fucking went right for him. This was really, really close. I absolutely loved it. Did you guys have a good time? Wasn't that great? <laughs> it was neck and neck, but that Jack Sparrow joke at the end just fucking got me. Honestly, you had to use your horse face to get right past the line in the race there, Leo. <laughs> All right? So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with Leah just by an inch, just by an inch, though. But that was absolutely great. Tito's one of the best. Thank yeah, you guys so yeah. much. Leah does win. But I do want final thoughts from Emma. Well, I guess my, my vote does not matter, so a little bit of uh, input, just on... Just con I, concepts, I, I guess, <laughs> at this point. Theories. Based on how you guys look, I, I want Leah to beat me up, but I think uh, Tito would beat me up. I think that's where we're at, you know? Um, with I, wait, consent. I to Leah, though. With consent. <laughs> with consent. He says with a wing. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. This has been the horniest show of all time. <laughs> this is great. Leah wins, but give it up for these two. Closing out the show amazingly. <laughs> Our amazing panelists, Catherine, who's you can see her all weekend here. Give it up for Catherine Blanford. <laughs> Tyler Fowler. Oscar Carvajal. Kevin Callum. And Emma Dallenberg.